In this tutorial, we're going to enable the full image display from the gallery, such as if you click on one of the thumbnails in the gallery, the full scale image will open. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name is Nigel. So as you saw in the introduction, we're going to be setting up a activity to display the full image. So let's get started. First thing I need to do is create a new, a new activity to display that full image view. So I'm just going to create the Java class, I'll just call it single. image activity okay I'm creating this from scratch you can create an activity any way you want but I didn't want to use the normal mechanism for creating an activity because it gives me extra files and I just want the basic files so I'm going to extend an activity Now I want to um, override one of the methods. It can be on the create. Okay, since I've created this activity, I need to add it to my Android manifest file. So let's get that done now. Add that inside our application. Or else I might forget it. And it's a single activity I'm adding. Okay, let's go back to my source file. Okay, the first thing I want to do before I even create my image view is to get my dimensions of my display and I'll feed in the width and height of those dimensions into my when I'm creating my image view. So to do that, first of all, I need to display metrics object and then feed the um, f get that populate that from the window manager so if we feed get metrics and feed in our display metrics, we'll get or we'll populate it with all the information that we require. Now let's create a width member. That gives us the width, and we'll do the same for the height. Okay, now I've got the, my desired width and height. I'm now going to programmatically create my image view. Now I need to create my um, layout parameters to feed into my image view. Call that params. And we'll feed in the width and the height. Now we need to pass those parameters back into our image view by calling set layout parameters. Okay, that's our image view now created. Now we can um, set that image view into our activity by calling set content view 
and we'll pass in our image view. Okay, the next step is we need to call our image view from our camera intent activity. So we go into the camera intent activity. And let me find the method, the on-click method. So it's this method here. This method here is what gets called by the interface um, with the position of the file we want. So let's get this set up. First thing we want to do is to call another activity, we use an intent. So let's create an intent. I'm trying to make this a little bit descriptive. Goals. What was it? Single image activity. Now that we've got our intent, we're going to pass our string, which represents the file location, to the activity. But before that, I had better just set up another string to I to recognize that item. So I'm just going to create a string just just to just use as a key to identify that. What shall I call it? Image file location. So what should we do? So call put extra for our string with the uh, key name and down here is going to be the actual location of the file that we clicked. Now to get that um, file address we've got the sort order method inside here we feed in the gallery folder and then pass in the position here to get the actual position of of our file once it's been resorted and then we need to set it to the string okay and then it's just a simple matter of um, uh, starting the activity with the intent we just created Okay, so we're now passing the location of our file inside an intent to our uh, single image activity. Let's go back to the single image activity. Okay, so from here I want to actually get the file and the information required within that file is going to be inside the intent. So I can create a file, call it image file. It's going to be a new file, and to get the um, address of that file, we'll call get intent. And now we'll do get string extra. Okay, I just need to go back to the image file location, just let me paste this line into the other activity. And feed that key name, image file location, 
Okay, so we've now got a file representing um, the file that we clicked on from the camera intent activity. And the next step is we want to sort of load the load the image from the file. We want to load that from a background thread. So the simplest method I'm going to use is going to be an async task. And I'm actually going to just uh, make a copy of the um, bitmap worker task that we used in the camera intent or in the camera activity. I'm going to use make a duplicate copy of that and then make a few slight modifications of that because we can't actually use that because that's a optimized one for recycle view. Okay, so let's see my file structure. Here's bitmap worker tasks. I'll press S5 to make a copy of that. I'm going to call it single image worker task. Press OK. So here it is here. I'm just going to make a few slight modifications here. Um, remove these statics. Now I'm going to remove these hard-coded values because we've now got the width and height dimensions that we use with the display metrics. So we're going to pass those instead of hard-coding them. Okay, so we've got the single bitmap worker task here. I'm now going to add two extra arguments, width and height, so we can initialize those two members. Target image view width equals width. Target image view height equals. Okay, that's fine for that. Now, just let me touch up this source file because we're not using a cache because we're only loading a single image. So I'm going to delete this line here, set bitmap to cache. And on post execute, I'm going to delete these three lines here. And I don't need the single bitmap worker task. Um, I don't need to use the bitmap worker task because that's only for optimized recycle view. So that's it. So everything else is fine. So we can just keep this file as is. Let's go back to our activity. Okay, so now we have all the information to load the file image into our uh, image view uh, on a bitmap worker task. So let's just create, see what the file name is called. It's a single bitmap worker task. Single image worker task. Call it worker task. Now, here we can provide the information of the image view. Width. Now we need to execute that worker task. and pass in the file. Got the error here, let's see where that is. Okay, that's it. So let's try running this and see what happens. Record the display. Okay, so we've got our camera application started. Put it on a coffee. And let's just click on one of these images. Scroll down. I don't know if I can find it any interesting image. 
and there it is so we're just that's just this is it's a simple way of showing you how to load a single image creating a new activity the key part of this was actually getting the position from the recycle view from the previous tutorial where we had to uh, create an interface to get that information um, I'm just going to use it so you press the back button again and then you can take a photo and then display that photo okay as usual with these tutorials, just let me add a few breakpoints and we can step through the changes we made. Okay, probably the best place to go to is to the camera intent activity. And go into our, where we create the intent. So here we, yeah, just creating our intent just to pass the file image address through to our single image activity. And we'll just put another breakpoint here. That's all I w want to add for this moment in time. Now let's run debug. First thing we're going to do is just click on an image. Okay, so from the previous tutorial, let me just close this. From the previous tutorial, we've got this interface which is being called from the image adapter. So we're creating an intent and we're going to send that intent to the single image activity class. Now we're going to send our string along with the uh, activity that points to the location of the file we want to open. And then start the activity with intent, in other words, start that single image activity. And then we create a display matrix just so we can get the width and the height. Then we create an image view and we create the parameters with the width and the height from the display metrics. And we set those parameters to the image view and then we set the actual image view content to display in the activity. And then we create the new file by getting the location of the file image from the intent. And then we made a duplicate, we made another copy of the worker task, modified that slightly, and then we call that worker task with the image view width and the height. And then we execute the image view, um, providing the actual image file member. And carry on executing till we see the full size image. Okay, that's basically going to conclude the Camera 2 API image capture portion of the tutorial series. Uh, there are more, I'm still going to be working on the Camera API, Camera 2 APIs. There's, it's a very powerful set of APIs, so I want to start exploring different things. Um, before I, I just need to put a bit of thought on to what other topics to cover in the Camera 2 APIs, so I'll just conclude at the stage. Anyway, for thank you for watching. Those of you who haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button down below to get notifications of my latest tutorials. And as you can see, surrounding me are all my social media accounts. So if you like Twitter, I regularly up, update to Twitter. So follow me on Twitter. I also have Facebook, a Google Plus account, and uh, Pinterest as well so if you like following those accounts yes you can follow me on there okay that's all for this one bye for now